All right, so I took a second to finally do something that I asked about. I don't even know how long ago it was, but I made a video about the cartridge test cart that I had made. That one. This is just a repro I made. And uh, what I didn't like about it was, is if the, if the controller was bad, you couldn't actually get to the main part that showed all the buttons. So I asked if somebody could give me a hacked ROM that went straight to the four player or the four controller test screen. And that's exactly what this one does. And if you look quickly enough, you can see the main screen does start up, but then it just automatically goes to this screen. And that's exactly what I was looking for. And as far as I can tell, it looks fine. I, really, I haven't actually hooked up a controller to it and tested it. I was actually, I actually got out my uh, test jig to test um, some CPUs and PPUs that I had. I not have it, any audio here? Huh. Well, I'm sure there was supposed to be audio. Wonder if the hack ROM got messed up in the audio part. And I got like four different guys that sent me a hacked ROM. Um, and I don't I couldn't tell you which one this is. But it gave me the idea of another hacked ROM that I wanted to do. And see, I'd have to show it to you on Power Pack. There is a NTF2 test cart. Um, yeah, I guess it's just auto test. And it shows the video RAM and the work RAM pass or fail. The problem is if either of them is messed up, this screen is just garbled and you can't actually tell which one has failed. So I thought, you know, it'd be really cool if we had just a ROM that tested just video RAM and all it gave was a green screen or a red screen. And that's it. That's all it did. You turn it on, green screen. You turn on, red screen, you knew the video RAM was bad. And I thought it'd be as simple as having two ROMs that did that, one for video, one for work, and then I could just have a physical switch on my cart to go from video to work. That's That would be beneficial to somebody like me that tests a bunch of consoles or you know a bunch of RAM chips. You know on this on this jig I would actually only need one, one and it looks like work RAM would be the easiest for me to access every time but you know like just to stick it into a top loader or front loader console and just you know quickly see what what's going on and this would probably only really be good for um, consoles that work but give a garbled image you know that way you can pinpoint if it's video or work RAM or something else so if anybody knows how to do that email me